Greetings, greetings, greetings. Welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa. It's so good to be here with you, isn't it? Wow, how are you? Today's uh, session, I wanted to talk about uh, the mind-body connection and uh, certain aspects of uh, where our organs are connected to some of our emotions, to our health, as well as what does it really mean when we lose someone or something very special to us and if we feel lonely versus being alone. So, hello, how are you? If you are here, please, by all means, send me an emoji. I would like to welcome you. Hi, Becky, how are you, love? Uh, so, before I even begin, it's been a, a difficult week for me since I saw you last, since I was on the air with you last Tuesday. Uh, so much happening, so many good things, so many difficult things. Um, just to start off, I must say that uh, I had to put down, put my lovely four-legged one down last week. He was uh, suffering with enlarged heart, and that's my little four-legged uh, body. It's been difficult because he was with me almost 24-7 and uh, he was at home with me. Everywhere I went, he was with me. He was even with me uh, at the office. So it's no matter where I go, his energy, it's been around. Uh, and that's been wonderful because instead of being upset and heartbroken, even though uh, it affected me a lot, I have been taking every stride in saying I am grateful for being able to provide a safe home, provide a loving home for him. Now, today's session is going to be about the loneliness and lonely and the difference. Thank you so much, Araxi. How we deal with when we let go of something that is so valuable, and some people take call it as it was taken away from us. Actually, I don't believe that there is things that are taken away from us. I come from the philosophy of believing that there is nothing in life that happens to us, that everything happens for us. There is a timing, the same way as I we happen for them, we... Uh, enter in someone's life at the right time, at the right place. We befriend them. Uh, we start up either a networking professional uh, relationship or even a personal relationship. So there are no accidents in my philosophy, in my belief system, which is called the B BS, right? Belief system. With that, I don't know how you feel. Do you believe in this universal law? Do you believe the same thing that uh, there are no accidents? Or do you believe everything is an accident? So uh, this morning, one of my colleagues, the moment uh, she saw me, she said, Oh my God, what happened to your eye? So if you see, I have a, this beautiful permanent. Well, it's not permanent. Nothing in life is permanent. I have this beautiful red, purple, blue uh, eyeshadow, right? So this is what happened. Last, yesterday, we were at the office and uh, with my colleague, my administrative assistant, we were here until 7.30 discussing things about the business. So many good things happening here that you will soon find out about it. And I was playing around with a small little staple. And the door to the office was open because I wanted some breeze to come through. And our front door is quite heavy. As I was sitting there and playing with this, I decided, thank you. I decided, oh, you know what? I'm just going to 
flick this outside into the world. So I get out of the chair, off of the couch, and this entire time the door has been open for over half an hour, I get up to flick this and this heavy door just suddenly comes banging straight into my eye bone right here and this is the result. Of course, this is makeup on it. At that very moment, yes, we put the eyes pack on it and everything and I sit and this is what I think what is it in life that I was not seeing even with an open door that this heavy thing had to come and bang onto my eye especially my left part left side of my body which is the feminine which is the feminine energy the receiving uh, part of our body and I said, what is it that I am not seeing that I am supposed to? And it's quite, uh, quite a way of showing me, wake up, the door was open, and here you just moved, or whatever it is. What is it that I am not seeing, or what is it that I am supposed to see? So this is how I take things in life. Um, with that, feeling lonely... Feeling lonely is uh, from the inside. Being alone is an external thing. So when we are alone, and that means no one significant, no one is around, and that means there is no one that you talk to, that you are... Uh, in conversation with, or you can sit with, or you, they can hold your hand during hard times, good times, fun times, no matter what it is. Feeling lonely, you can also be amongst a lot of people and yet still feel lonely. And loneliness is, you feel lonely because no one understands you, no one can feel what you're feeling, or you are having a hard time expressing you. Uh, yourself, your feelings, your thoughts. And that's where the loneliness comes, that no matter where we are and what we are surrounded with, internally we feel a disconnect. Now, this loneliness and uh, a lone part is also uh, when we do, uh, when I work with my clients, I... Uh, I treat them as a whole. And it's not that I use hypnosis at all times, but even through our counseling, even through deep state of relaxation and tapping within their feelings internally, I, I ask these questions. What is happening inside your body? What organs and everything? Where do you feel the loneliness? Where do you feel this upset or resentment or anger? And if they touch their tummy part, which is the digestive part, and liver, believe it or not, is directly connected to certain parts of our body. So liver is also lack of flow of blood because the creation, the blood flow and everything, if we have a healthy liver function, it allows the blood flow throughout our body and that in itself, healthy liver, is also good for our health and wellness, our attitude and aptitude, and um, feeling more joyful. And we are health when we are feeling healthy and joyful, then there is less loneliness inside. So anger, resentment is deeply connected to our liver and liver function. So for those who have liver problems and um, uh, after liver comes the gallbladder, gallbladder connection, I like to tend to and heal, not necessarily heal, but start working on making their um, emotions healthier so that they can start indirectly connect to their body and as the body starts healing once we let go of anger and resentment 
deep-rooted anger and resentment, then we can also have a healthier blood flow, breath work, liver function, gallbladder function. Now, the flow, which is what we call it, is qi or qi. The qi throughout the body is, in a way, the medicine where the illness and disease is blocked. When there, it's like if I do this and tourniquet right here, then what am I doing? I'm stopping blood flow. No matter where we are, even when uh, we hold on to a finger or we bite on our lips, that blood flow, when it stops, it creates a blockage. When that is happening and it's not flowing, that can be catastrophe. It can be like a stroke. It can be a tourniquet. So what do we do? Um, what we do is, uh, by the way, in case you didn't know, your liver is also connected to your uh, nails. So when you have strong, uh, sturdy nails, that means great uh, liver function, good blood flow. The ones who constantly uh, see cracks in their nails and everything, I would truly suggest for you to take a look at what is it that you're not handling? The things that are at the tip of your finger, right? And that you are uh, resentful, that you are not working with properly. And also a healthy liver function helps you have a better um, cognitive awareness and plan things look forward for things and look forward in your life to create things, plan things and implement things. That energy, that flow, because when you are happy, when you are creating and you are building and you are planning, there is very little room for anger and resentment, right? Hi, George. Hi, Annie. So that's what I wanted to talk about because as we spring forward into summer and it is time of heat, we get to shed, shed our weight, shed even our skin. Uh, if you scrub it uh, well and it's time to shed that dead skin, uh, we go swimming, we have a better body image, we want all that healthy stuff. With that, we also have to have a healthier um, attitude and aptitude, become more loving, warmer, and those are our gifts. We all have it. It's how we use it, how you use it. With that, I want to say... The yin is the feminine energy, which is the black side of the yin-yang color, which is also uh, the intuitive part, the creative part, the grounding part, the part that is also, it holds, it nurtures the black part, right? And... The yin is the white part, which is the logical part, the strong part, the bright side. And that's how we have this yin and yang. It's um, good, bad, right, wrong, hot, cold, um, health, disease, uh, directions of like east, west. And that's where life is. The season is springtime especially for liver. And so there is a lot of cleansing during springtime, the foods that you eat. And in summer, you become more healthier from liver to gallbladder. And our attitude usually brightens up more in the summertime. I hope this message is beneficial to you because... As I said, although I am a clinical hypnotherapist and a stress management consultant, it's, uh, I treat my clients as a whole. Your body, your mind, your emotions. 
So stress can cause a lot of dis-ease. In the meantime, we can overcome so many of our internal illness and feel more whole and complete. And when we feel good about ourselves, we feel less lonely. And less lonely means I can go and have dinner by myself and maybe even sit at the counter and talk to someone next to me. And I can go to the movies by myself. I used to drive all the way to uh, Palm Springs, spend a nice weekend for myself, nurture myself, pamper myself, and come back. So those are things that you can do. Start from the smallest little thing for yourself and walk outside. Take a walk for 45 minutes or even half an hour and I want you to look around. Become one with all the sounds, sounds of the birds. It, birds are singing daytime and especially late at night. I remember when Bodhi and I used to go for our walks, I would hear the birds. Oh. And it's as if they're talking. It's beautiful. So become one with nature and know that at all times you are grounded on Mother Earth and protected from above, from Father Sun, Father Sky, and the strength of all the trees, the bark of the trees and the root of the trees, they are all lined up to support you and protect you. And always remember, it's evoking what was, everything from the past. You bring it to surface, and then you embrace it. Embrace the reality. Embrace where you are in life right here, right now. So that you can evolve to what is it that you want to be, how you want to feel. You matter so much. You matter to me. For being here and if you are here thank you Guyane and if you are watching this on a replay please let me know if it's a replay and for those of you who have emailed me picked up the phone and called me or sent a message to me I thank you we are none of us are immune to loss but I like to call it, instead of a loss, even though it hurts, that we are blessed, truly blessed, to have the people who make a difference in our life, they enhance our life, and they brighten our life. We are grateful to be amongst them and have them amongst us, as I am grateful for having you here. So to uh, end today's session, I'd like to uh, finish with saying cleanse, heal, and walk. Move forward in life, create, and remember that when someone compliments you, say thank you. Truly thank them because it's coming from their eye, and it's not necessarily all the way about how you feel. It's how they feel about you. And with that, I thank you. Uh, eat healthy, be healthy, and remember that you matter to me. If there is anything I can be of assistance to you and help you make a change to transform by evoking, embracing, and evolving, I am here for you. You can always reach me at healwithin.com. Until we see you next time, 